All right. So let's talk about Red Aventurine today. Um, hopefully, I don't hack a lung up <laughs> midway through this video. Um, I started getting a chest cold, so I'm trying my hardest to uh, not cough <laughs> making this video. So let's see what happens. It sucks too because it's the worst getting sick in the spring. So we got Red Aventurine. And Red Aventurine, we got a whole bunch right here, all kinds of rough specimens. I do have a polished piece of this somewhere, cannot find it. And I also have a piece that um, I wear around my neck at times, also can't find it. It's, who knows where it's at. But um, Red Aventurine, absolutely beautiful. Look at it. It's got more of like a peach color to be honest than a red but it's still called red aventurine but these are some natural specimens very beautiful color to it um polished looks very similar and color wise anyway um i don't see i don't know red aventurine obviously green aventurine is the most um common one and they sell it at the most places um you will see red there's blue, there's there's actually a bunch of different colors, but red, I don't see a ton of at crystal shops and stuff, but still pretty awesome. Um, rough pieces are, are really beautiful. You could see all the patterns and stuff on this guy, but so let's, let's delve into it. Um, red Aventurine, and I also used to call Aventurine Adventurine when I was a kid, and I, I remember studying crystals. I had a book. I, I God, I don't know how old I was. I, I had to be only, like, I was young, 12 years old. I don't know. And I, I remember reading about Aventurine, and I thought it said Adventurine. So I called it Adventurine for years and years and years until – I finally discovered it wasn't called that. <laughs> so that was kind of a, a little funny thing. But mostly you'll see green, which I think I already made a video on. But red, not as common in crystal shops, but still I'm sure you could find it. I do sell it in my shop as well. Um, granted, I think these are the pieces I'll be selling and I don't have them up yet. And I've been slacking a little bit, so hopefully I could get these listed. Um, but adventuring anyway, so the best thing when I meditate with this or work with it, using it as jewelry, whatever, and I, I will, I swear, I promise I'm going to make a video coming up soon on, uh, cleansing crystals and charging them and using them and best ways to actually connect with them, um, and some simple tricks. So. I look forward to making those. Um, hopefully, maybe uh, next week I'll do that. So creativity is a number one for this. Um, before I get into the metaphysical physical properties, yeah, metaph the, the, the metaphysical properties of it, um, a little history. The name Aventurine actually comes from an Italian word or phrase, Aventura. I guess I have to say aventura, <laughs> but it means in it in Italian by chance the word aventurine, and that actually pertains to um, I think it was like a glass maker or something like that. You might have to fact check me on this, but somebody accidentally dropped um, metal filings or they dropped it into glass. And realized once it cooled down, it resulted in something really cool looking. So it was Aventurine, which they used. And that's how it got the word by chance. It means by chance. So it was kind of like by chance they figured out how to use this in the industry. Because Aventurine is actually used in lots of different types of jewelry, um, art, landscaping stuff. It's it's in quite a bit of stuff. 
not necessarily just red, but all the different colors. Um, just wanted to say that because that's kind of cool. Um, Aventurine, though, uh, it definitely, in terms of like physical stuff, this is a go to for low enthusiasm and also like sluggishness, lethargy, I guess would be the word. Like you're just feeling like a slug. You're kind of tired. You just, uh, you don't want to push through. And it's, this is absolutely perfect and magical for that. And low enthusiasm, 100%. And I can attest to that because I've used it. If you meditate with this, you will feel it. And, and I'm not saying it's super powerful, but it's definitely going to change your um, attitude. And low enthusiasm, it kind of will push the creative energies uh, from you, which if you're doing some kind of project or trying to come up with something, uh, definitely try this because creativity, I think, is the number one word. If I had to associate one word to Red Aventurine, I would say creativity. And it definitely helps with being creative, um, coming up with new ideas for things. And it gives you the good part about it is that not only you get the good ideas, but you also get the benefits of the enthusiasm behind your ideas to help to actually help you do it to go and get it done and not procrastinate and you know talk about it this one's a really nice piece look at the color on that but definitely physical symptoms low energy low enthusiasm i don't want to say low energy scratch that low enthusiasm from a more mental perspective and lethargy which i guess you could say a little there's definitely ties in with physical but it definitely starts in the mental category of, eh, I don't want to do that yet. So use this when you're looking to be creative, whatever it may be, whatever type of creativity that you need, this will help and it will help get it done. So in a way, this is a great stone for manifesting. And manifesting a lot of... Ah, how would I get into this? Like if, if I don't want to delve too much in the in a manifestation, but if manifestation, you're um, trying to come up with a simple, uh, I remember people used to try to manifest a feather as a basic thing. And you're, you know, focusing on feather, 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 feather. And uh, finally you see a feather. Yes. That's kind of more of the manifestation way that I, people look at manifestation, but in reality, to manifest something, you still have to do it. I mean, yes, there are times where something can magically appear in your life, but I think this is a great stone for manifestation because if you want to manifest something, you first need the idea behind it to put it into a reality. So you're first going to need that um, to get over that low enthusiasm. You're going to need the creativity to find your idea. And then to successfully implement your idea and create it into the physical world, this definitely helps because it helps push you to actually get it done. And to me, that is a perfect way to describe manifestation. So I think this is a very good stone for that. Um, another thing that I find is it definitely helps your, um, your, what am I trying to say here? Your personality. So I'm not going to say it's going to give you like an amazing personality, but if you're around a whole bunch of people, not so much talking and all that kind of stuff, like uh, crystals associated with communication and the throat chakra, this is more of a, a boost, which gives you like, it helps your personality just shine more. Um, and interact with people sharing ideas. It goes along with the creativity aspects. Um, and instead of just avoiding everyone, this is a good one to 
help like share ideas with a whole bunch of people and, and helps your personality just sparkle. That's the best way to put it. And just grabbing this and working with it, you could feel that warmth, that creativity, just happiness. It's just a pleasant, pleasant stone to work with. So I would highly recommend using this. Uh, creativity, just to recap, is a definite number one. Overcoming that low enthusiasm and really help to manifest whatever your creative idea is into reality. And also, just grab it to feel good. Just meditate with this. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel creative. You're going to feel happy. Um, I also would recommend to cleanse this as well. Running it under some water will do the trick. Again, I'll have a video on all that type of stuff coming up. And that's about it. I don't want to keep uh, overdoing and, and repeating a lot of the same things that I say. Um, because that's easy to do when you're talking about um, crystals and, and minerals. So that's about it for this one. Very beautiful st stuff here. Definitely work with some Red Aventurine and get those creative vibes and juices flowing. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.